Just brought a little bit of stuff. Drone, camera. This bag is the only bag that's not ours. Uh, Leo's ride. Uh, and yeah, Leo's diapers and food and stuff. So let's go. So, okay. Alright, so we're at the first stop and we're gonna have a look at some waterfalls. I don't remember the name of the waterfalls. Royal Carmel Waterfalls. Royal Carmel Waterfalls. The guy who wanted security money said it was the best waterfalls on the island. So we'll see about that. After a beautiful 30 minute hike, we reached the highest waterfall in Grenada. feeling Grenada will become one of our absolute favorites here in the Caribbean it's really really nice and looks so different in the south compared to the north Uh, flower. No. If you touch, they close. Oh. <laughs> sleep, sleep, go sleep. sleep. Lake 
Yucatan. Very peaceful here. Grand Tang is part of a national park and the lake is actually a huge crater of an extinct volcano that has been filled with water. There are some nice trails around the lake and we spent some time here just exploring the surroundings and taking in the scenery. It's so nice to be in the forest. I love it. the car. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going, Leo? We just found uh, some really old shitty airplanes. <laughs> yeah, you just put your foot in some. And some shit. Yeah. We, uh, we, we're driving past the, the old and our airport in the middle of the island and then they have these airplane wrecks. It's really cool. We didn't know about Pearls Airport before, so it was super interesting to stumble upon it when we were driving around in Grenada. It was Grenada's first airport, and the planes are from the Soviet Union. They were damaged and left during the American invasion. We didn't expect to see the former presidential airplane with CCCP written on the side when driving down the road. And the bigger airplane is a Cuban passenger plane. Cuba and the Soviet Union were helping Grenada build a new airport, so a lot of construction workers were coming in to help out with the construction. That's I think super. we should go back to the car though. Yeah, let's go. The next stop was Fort Frederick, where Leo and you had to make a history lesson much more fun. Fort Frederick is uh, one of the few forts in the world that has never fired a shot in anger. It was started by the French after they took the island in 1779. And then four years later, the Treaty of Versailles was written. So then they had to give the island back to the British. So they completed the fort after that. Because they realized that uh, if this fort had existed when they, tried to uh, when they took the island, they would probably not have succeeded. Hallelujah, Leo. the ball. trip adventure. Oh, yeah. The adventure it's continues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we doing today? Today is rum distillery and uh, some shopping I think. Yeah. And nice. garden, spice garden. And spice garden. Nice. A story. A story. A story about the big stick. <gasps> the story about the we don't know the holidays. Yeah. The what holidays. are we gonna do with the sticks? Now we're going What are you gonna do when I come for you? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We're going to the Seven Sisters waterfall. 
because today is a public holiday, so the rum distillery is closed. Still. There were just so much to see in Grenada. And one of the things we loved the most was these hikes through the rainforest. Mother Nature, you did an amazing job. Playing the bamboo. So we have lost Larissa and Christoph. They are already there, probably. <laughs> we are busy filming everything. Uh, and it's really, really nice. It's just beautiful. I guess nature pretty much beats visiting the rum distillery. After a trek through the jungle, we arrived at this beautiful waterfall. Some of the local guys were jumping from the top, and it only took a little while before one of them approached me and asked me if I wanted to take me up to the top and show me the way. There are about six or seven small rapids or waterfall that you need to go down before you arrive to the last one. There's no other way out, so once you start down the river, you have to commit at the end.
scary. <laughs> really scary. Good uh, heartbeat. Yeah, I, I was nervous. Me too. Nice man. Really good. Really good. Thank man. you. Take good care of me, man. Yeah. I deserve that. That was really you're, nice. You're the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you to. Yeah, good. I'll just try and feel and you don't try at all. Yeah. yeah. Good. You How high is the, the last one? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still chicken. You want to <laughs> try that? This one is 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Yes. All right. <laughs> 11. 11. Nice. Yes. Uh -huh. Respect. So we just made it back to the boat, or back to the boat, yeah. And we'll uh, regroup and then get some dinner. And then tonight we're gonna go out and watch the some turtle, turtle hatching, hopefully. So that should be nice. Time she's laying, she's in the trance. Show all the chance. Yeah. Lane, she's gonna compress that mess. Grenada has become one of our absolute favorite islands and we are very grateful for all we had the opportunity to experience. And there's not a doubt in my mind that we will return to this wonderful island again. Thank you for sharing this piece of the Caribbean with us. I really hope you liked the video and please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos and get notified when we upload our next one. There's a time in life I will return